Am I overreacting? Am I overreacting to what we saw already? This is the, what do you think? This is the best part. This is the best part of week one. You know what I love about week one? <laughs> what is that? I know this is a little different because they started early. I love listening to talk radio after the team <laughs> of that city loses three of the first four games and it's over. <laughs> and these guys are bums. I love that part. I mean, you leave camp. It's so weird. You leave spring training, day games. You got to adjust. And then the first two weeks don't go well, and then everybody's going crazy. But to your point, the Dodgers are loaded. Can you imagine if they were to lose these first two games, what the rhetoric would be? <laughs> but would they're be they're going to be they're going to be just fine, and they're definitely um, has the most pressure on them, which is great. I I want to be I want to be a player leaving camp with the most pressure on me to win, or it's a failure. Um, that's the kind of team you want to have, and that's the kind of team they have right now. Well, overreactions aside, though, John, I mean, if you had to list the teams um, 1 through 30, okay, the the team that needed a freak glove malfunction to help them out the least, it would be the Los Angeles Dodgers, <laughs> right? John, it would be 30. They'd it's, be 30 on that list, right? It sure, it sure would. Uh, <laughs> they would be 30. There's... There's going to be plenty of opportunities through the year where, um, you know, no one's going to feel sorry for the Dodgers, but they are going to get everybody's best shot. They're going to have to survive the injury, um, you know, basically bug that hits every team. And they're just, they have more resources to, to survive that. And they pulled off some incredible deals in the off season and uh, it's a credit to them. And we'll find out baseball is a great sport that doesn't guarantee anything. We've seen that over the last 30 years. So we'll find out as, as this year, but they're must watch, uh, must see TV. And uh, that's, I guess, hopefully they got their TV situation worked out where most of LA can see them. I know that was a, that was, that was a situation a couple of years ago. No, they but hopefully got, they've got that work. That, that has been ironed out for sure. Uh, and in, in all honesty, I mean, I know you're a football fan too, John. You know, you could make the case the Dodgers are kind of like the Cowboys where regular season's great. Let's see. That's awesome. That That's great. But when playoff rubber meets road, that's it. Because it has been the more frequent than not. And I understand that there was that World Series in 2020. Um, but more recent, more often than not, it's just something happens in October, and then the Dodgers wind up with their tail between their legs and seeing somebody else win the commissioner's trophy. And so I, I'm just wondering, how how does a manager even prepare for something like that over the 162, right? I mean, how do you do that? Yeah, yeah I think learning from the past, and one of the things they did in the postseason, for whatever reason, they felt compelled to use a ton of resources in one series that spent them. Uh, the Braves went on to beat them and won the World Series. There's been times where they've deviated from successful – uh, outings. I think they they have the recipe now to sustain all that. But here's what's gotten them every single time, in my opinion. Their rotation has been filled with injuries year in and year out. I mean, they have not escaped that yet. Now they've built some quantity to help them have that situation come up in the postseason. But let's face it, they're probably going to be one of the two best records in the National League. They're going to have the five day rest. Uh, they're going to have everything going for them if they stay healthy. This is not just show up and they're going to win 100 games. But you like their, you're like their lineup. You like their rotation. They left camp. They've got some guys on the IL already. But it's a it's a long journey, and they understand it. And that's why I'm saying the pressure for that team leaving spring training. They if they embrace it, and which I'm sure they will. They got the right manager to embrace it. They're going to be just fine, and I have a belief that they signed Shohei Otani not to win one championship. <laughs> they si they signed him to win multiple. So this is not hurry up, win two in a row. This is about cashing in on these mega contracts with multiple championships, and then you can view them as one of the most successful teams maybe in the next 10 years. But up until this point, they've had what one championship in the last 34 years, 33 something like that. So they feel that pressure from an iconic organization to win multiple now. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.